Hello and thank you for your interest in studying for the MSc Adult Nursing at Bournemouth University. My name is Jonathan Brani, I'm the programme leader. I'd like, you talk to you, like to talk you through some of the essential uh, bits and pieces that you'd like to know about this programme. First of all, we think it's an exciting opportunity for graduates such as yourself to gain a master's degree and become a registered nurse in two years. The programme makes use of the NMC provision for prior learning, such as that knowledge and experience you bring with you from your prior degree and care experience, making it possible to achieve the requirements to become a nurse via this two-year postgraduate course. Prior learning from any uh, degree subject area is permitted, but it does need to be mapped against the programme outcomes and requirements. What me that means in practice is submission of an acceptable entry portfolio and you'll find the template for the entry portfolio as well as on other information about the portfolio on the BU website. The quickest way to get there is just to Google MSc Adult Nursing Bournemouth University and that will give you um, information to complement what we cover in this open day video. Any prior care experience that, as long as it involves direct patient or client care, will be considered. So, to gain a place on the MSc, candidates do need to evidence 720 hours of care experience, and that 720 hours needs to be gained by the, the start date of the commencement of the course. So, if you were unsure about applying because you hadn't had the required hours yet, you can apply and gain a, a provisional place and once you have evidence the 720 hours that would then be transferred to a, an unconditional place. Part of the entry portfolio requirement will include an, a, a reflecting on your care experience and typical healthcare experience includes having worked as a healthcare assistant or activity coordinator in a variety of different settings uh, other healthcare um, or related experience, if you're not sure um, if it meets our requirements, then you feel free to get in touch with us and we will let you know. One of the fantastic things about nursing in general, and the MSc in particular, is it's a f an exciting way to challenge not only your head, which is a a typical um, expectation of going to university, but also your heart and your hands. In fact, the, the, the whole body, if you like, is challenged in a positive way. And why is this? Well, nurses need a good level of knowledge of all the sciences relevant to the human experience, including an understanding of the human body and societies at large. And I say societies deliberately in plural, because we need to think increasingly at national and international because nurses of course can work anywhere. And not only that, because of the increased movement of people, you may have be uh, caring for people from a variety of, of uh, um, cultural backgrounds and we need to have an awareness of that to care for everybody in the most appropriate way. Nurses need to care. They need to demonstrate empathy, compassion, need to advocate for the vulnerable and be exquisite communicators and being able to communicate uh, complicated and often complicated information in the appropriate way to patients, their carers, their family. And it's also about communicating with other healthcare professionals. The nurse is the linchpin for the patient in terms of communication from all various professionals to help make sure the patient gets the best care. Nurses need to be highly skilled in the practical delivery of care. They need to be able to perform uh, increasingly complex tasks that are done with the hands, of course, but influenced by the head in terms of the knowledge for how to do those things and by the heart and how to do them in a kind and compassionate way. Therefore, nursing challenges the head, the heart, the hands. Could this be you? What does this course cover then? What you'll see in front of you now 
On the left are all the units that are in the first year of the program and on the right the units in the second year of the program. There are seven in total each year, six um, academic or university based units if you like and uh, nursing practice and nursing skills which is partly university based and partly based in clinical environments including the NHS. So the first year is really about giving you the foundations of nursing. What is nursing? Thinking about the different philosophical perspective on what it means to be a human, what it means to care for and be cared by. Nurses, uh, as we said before, need to know about the science of the body and human behaviour. So applied healthcare sciences will uh, cover that. We need to understand the conditions that affect people and that are acute and long term and the medicines and drugs that are used to manage those conditions. And we need to deliver all this care safely and wherever appropriate, we try and make improvements to the quality of care. And much of that is underpinned by principles of inquiry and evidence-based practice. In the second year, we build on everything that was learned in year one. We further develop our communicational, communication skills and interpersonal skills and working in teams because that's critically how healthcare is now delivered. The, uh, we build on the knowledge of the human body, human disease and conditions and learn those that, and we appreciate that a person may have more than one thing um, uh, needing attention and that which makes their needs increasingly complex, especially with an ageing population. We want our nurses to be leaders, especially those doing the MSc, to guide and, um, and manage change. And finally, we further build on those principles of inquiry and evidence-based practice, know that wherever possible, we base our decisions and care on the best science. So that is the course in a, uh, well, a very quick run through. You can see though, it's a busy time and uh, between study and rest, uh, it will be a very demanding course. So what do we cover? So first of all, the assessments in this course are varied um, as they should be to reflect this type of program. The assessments will include written assignments, including literature reviewing and reflective writing. There'll be some exams that might include a practical assessment. The assessment also takes place when you're in placement, uh, where you have to show um, that you've met the proficiencies required of the NMC. The MSc Adult Nursing course, as you could rightly expect, is delivered by staff with the relevant expertise and knowledge. That can include senior academic staff, many of whom are registered nurses, qualified professional practitioners, nurses and other healthcare practitioners who will kindly give up some of their time to come in and teach you and may include research students as well. We anticipate up to 40 students uh, starting with us in September. As explained before, it's two years full time and most of your uh, learning will be take place on the Lansdowne campus, which is where the health and social care programmes are based. Although some classes may also take place at, at Talbot campus. In terms of clinical placements, that will vary depending on the locality in which you'll be doing your placements. So why should you come to BU? Well, first of all, we can assure you that our MSc adult nurses will be prepared to the NMC 2018 standards and be capable of embracing humanised, person-centred care, which is evidence-based. A core part of our programme is to ensure that the key values set out in the NMC 2018 standards are embedded to enable you, our future graduate nurses, to critically engage with current practice issues and develop strategies for improvement using sound methodologies. In other words, you'd be well placed to notice 
where practice may need to be improved and have uh, a toolkit of strategies that you can draw upon to make those changes happen in a good way. Not surprisingly, the course is mentally, physically and emotionally demanding, as you would expect of entering a healthcare profession, especially at master's level. The course involves learning about people and working with people when they're often at the lowest ebb in their lives. There are, however, few experiences that can compare to help to helping positively change the lives of the people in your care, and that's what being a nurse can enable you to do and provide that valuable role in society. The Department of Nursing Science is well known for having competent expert staff who are also approachable and friendly, who embrace the humanising person-centred values they espouse, and they are there to help and guide you to be successful in this programme, including myself of course as programme leader. There are many placement opportunities which will depend uh, on the locality that you'll be working in. On the left you'll see the various NHS trusts broadly mapped to the, the type of locality experience. So what I mean by that is you may do your placements in and around the Bournemouth area, in and around the Poole area, in and around the Salisbury area in and around the area of Dorchester, which is where Dorset County Hospital is, and Dorset Healthcare is the primary healthcare trust, or one of the local health, uh, primary healthcare trusts, where you would work, for example, in GP practices. There are also independent providers that um, run nursing homes, and on the right is a variety of just um, a snapshot of some of the placement experiences that you, you may encounter during your time on the programme. Rough the half of the programme is, is in practice and that's an NMC requirement and there'll be a mix of uh, what we would call acute sector um, uh, experience such as that that you might associate with working in a hospital and some uh, some longer term condition management in the community, say with district nurses, with practice nurses in a GP practice, or indeed caring for people in nursing homes. By the end of the MSc you not only have the, a high uh, level academic qualification but this breadth of experience in nursing. At the point of completing the course, you not only have a master's degree, you can also register as an adult nurse with the NMC. And there are so many career opportunities in the UK and beyond. And a nursing qualification, especially from the UK, is highly valued throughout the world. The placements you experience during the course will just give you a glimpse of the vast range of areas in healthcare where nurses make an irreplaceable contribution helping you to choose the career direction that's best for you. There are so many different options and it's an exciting future for you all. Thank you for considering this course and I look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you to the programme at some point in the near future. Goodbye.